Okay, ngayon naman ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano mag-subtract ng integers. Ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano mag-subtract ng integers sa mas madaling paraan. So, meron tayong dalawang steps na kailangan sundin. Uh, meron tayong rules na kailangan sundin. So, unang step, uh, we're going to change the sign of the subtrahend. Then, pangalawa, proceed as in addition. So, babalik tayo doon sa rule ng addition of integers. Okay, para mas madaling maintindihan, mayroon ako example dito. Number 1, positive 2 minus positive 5 equals. Okay, so first step, ang gagawin natin, change natin yung sign ng subtrahend, which is 5. So, magiging 2 minus negative 5. Yung positive 5 kanina, naging negative 5. And then, second step is proceed as in addition. So, yung minus, mapapalitan na ng plus. So, mayroon tayo ngayong 2 plus negative 5. And then, simplify na natin. We have 2 plus negative 5 addition rule. So, same sign ba sila or different sign? Okay. So, positive 2 and negative 5 sa different sign o magkaiba ng sign. Pag magkaiba ng sign, ang gagawin natin is to subtract. So, 5 minus 2 equals 3. And then, kopyahin natin yung um, sign ng mas mataas na number. So, alin ang mas mataas? Yung 2 or 5. So, mas mataas ang 5, kaya ang sign natin is negative. So, therefore, we have negative 3. Okay, we have another solution. So, positive 2 minus 5, same lang din siya ng 2 minus 5. So, gagamitin natin yung rule ng addition of integers. So, same sign or different sign. Since different sign sila dahil positive yung 2, negative yung 5, so, ang gagawin natin, subtract 5 minus 2 is 3 and then copy the sign of the bigger number or kopyahin ang sign ng mas malaking number which is negative 5. Okay, number 2 example, negative 3 minus negative 7. So, again, the first step is to change the sign of the subtrahend. So, papalitan natin yung negative 7 ng positive 7. So, magiging negative 3 minus positive 7. And then, mag, um, second step is, papalitan natin yung minus sign ng positive or plus. So, proceed as in addition. So, negative 3 plus positive 7. The negative 3 plus positive 7 is um, equals to 4. Bakit? Kasi, i-apply na naman natin dito yung rule ng addition. So, tingnan natin kung same sign or different sign. So, since different signs sila, ang gagawin natin is to subtract. 7 minus 3 is 4. And then, copy the sign of the bigger number or kukopyay natin yung sign ng mas mataas na number. So, which is, ang mas mataas na number is 7, which is positive. Therefore, we have positive 4. Okay, so meron tayong ibang solution. Yung negative 3 minus negative 7, same lang siya with negative 3 minus negative 7. So, ang gagawin natin dito, um, i-simplify natin yung negative multiply by negative. So, mul negative multiply by negative is positive. Kaya, meron tayong negative 3 plus 7. And then, say, a uh, different sign, therefore, ma-minus natin. 7 minus 3 is 4. And then, copy the sign of the bigger number, which is positive. So, the answer is 4. Okay, we have number 3. 5 minus negative 8. So, same step, change the sign of the subtrahend. So, yung negative 8, mapapalitan siya ng positive 8. So, yung minus sign, mapapalitan ng positive uh, or plus. So, proceed as in addition na. And then, um, 5 plus positive 8, same sign or different sign. Since pareho sila ng sign, pareho sila ng positive, kaya i-add natin. So, 5 plus 8 equals 13. So, therefore, we have positive 13. Okay. So, meron tayo ibang solution. So, 5 minus negative 8. Same lang din siya with 5 minus negative 8. So, ang gagawin natin dito to simplify is to multiply the negative um, the minus sign to the negative 8. So, negative times negative equals positive. So, again, we're going to use the rule of addition of integers. So, since they are the same signs, so positive 5 plus 8 is equal to positive 13.